तिनका तिनका बुना घोसला छोड़ के हो तिनका तिनका बुना घोसला छोड़ के लो परिंदे उड़े हौसला ओढ़ के मजहबों की जुबा की सरहदें तोड़ के मजहबों की जुबा की सरहदें तोड़ के जैन ले Transforming dreams into reality. Graphic Era. A very good morning to each and every one of you who have taken the time out to connect with us on this live session. We are overwhelmed with the love and response you showered on us at the last session. We at Graphic Era are determined to help you all. in whatever way possible during these tough times this is usually the time when students around the globe reach out to us for counseling and guidance but because you all have to stay home and stay safe we at graphic era are trying to reach out to as many of you in the comfort of your homes through our live series of webinars we understand how your brains are clouded with questions and we promise to cater to all of your doubts to the best of our abilities A lot of questions were answered in our previous session. In the last episode, we answered a lot of general questions like what are different types of universities? What are the factors one should consider while choosing a university? What role does the top management play? Dozens of questions about graphic era, the campus, the courses offered, the facilities, accreditations and infrastructure. Graphic era is not just a group of universities parting quality education. but a dream a vision of its founder president and this is what makes this particular episode really very really special the presence of one of india's most celebrated academicians and the founder of graphic era group of institutions professor kamal ganshala the man who proved that it is possible to transform dreams into reality like last time we will answer a few frequently asked questions we already have with us and then proceed to a live q and a that is a question and answer session Where Professor Kamal Ganshala, with his panel of experts, will be answering all your questions. With this, I would like to hand over the session to Honorable Kamal Ganshala, sir, who will now take you through Graphic Era's journey in time. Hi, guys. I have to give you a brief introduction of Graphic Era. before that i'll have to introduce myself i am kamal ghansala i started graphic era in uh, 1993 after doing my engineering with a very small investment of only 29000 rupees you must be wondering how somebody can start a computer center or a computer institute for 29000 rupees i'll tell you how i started see i assembled a computer and i started graphic era from my home only now the next question is why the name is graphic era see the name is, is graphic era because i started giving training in computer graphics and then slowly slowly people started coming to me for other courses also i started teaching them other languages also other computer languages also and then uh i started developing software also and i developed software for garhwal university and kumau university and then in the year 1998 that is a big milestone in the journey of graphic era year 1998 when this graphic era computer center got transformed into 
Graphikera Institute of Technology. See, we started two courses. One uh, was BCA and another was BMIT, Bachelor of Management and Information Technology. So that was a big year for us, 1998. From there, the journey of Graphic Era Institute of Technology started, which was then affiliated to HNV Garwal University, Srinagar. Well, then in uh, year 2000, we started MCA. And in 2001, we started engineering. And after that, so many other courses, MBA, hotel management. Then in the year 2008 is also a big year for Graphic Era. In the year 2008, this Graphic Era Institute of Technology further got transformed into Graphic Era deemed to be university. See, Graphic Era Institute of Technology was given a deemed to be university status by UGC. So that was again a very big achievement. In fact, uh, there were only few uh, deemed universities in Uttarakhand. Right now, there are only two deemed universities in Uttarakhand. One is Gurkul Kangri Haridwar, which is a very old deemed university. And second is Graphic Era, a deemed to be university, Dehradun. Uh, then, because there was a lot of demand, there were limited seats, and we wanted to reach to more and more people in this hilly region. And uh, you know, deemed university has a character of a national or international university. So we were not able to admit many students which were uh, aspiring admissions in deemed university. So we started one more university in the year 2011. The name was Graphic Era Hill University. So Graphic Era Hill University was started in 2011. It was approved by state government and through a state a legislative act and uh, two campuses were approved in Graphic Era Hill University. First campus was uh, in Dehradun and second campus was, in, was established in a beautiful place in Kumau region which is called place named Bhimtal. Okay, that is Bhimtal is a place of lake. So uh, our campus came between Bhimtal and Sathtal. So these two campuses were started in 2011. In 2015, Graphic Era Deemed University got A grade from NAC. And again, we were having the highest score in the region amongst all government and private universities. And in 2018, Graphic Era Deemed University got permanent status from UGC and uh, we also got in 2018 only Graphic Era Deemed University uh, got accredited by NBA for three engineering courses that is computer science and engineering, mechanical engineering and electronics and communication engineering. Today, Graphic Era group of institutions offer you a variety, a range of courses starting from engineering to management to commerce to fine arts to fashion designing to law to nursing, to paramedical, pharmacy, range of courses. Even we do have some honors degree programs in English, maths, physics. So we offer you a range of courses, UG, UG courses and PG courses. In all these 27 years, our strength always had been computer science. You, you know, we started by giving training in computer science and by developing software. Then in Graphic Era Institute of Technology, our first course was BCA. Then our first AICT approved course was MCA. Our first engineering course was BTEC Computer Science and Engineering. Our first accredited course was BTEC Computer Science and Engineering. In fact, today also, every day I go to the class and teach some of the subjects in BTEC Computer Science and Engineering. Our strength is always shown uh, in our results. Last year, we got a highest package of 55 lakh rupees. This year, till date, our highest package is 43.95 lakh rupees in Adobe. In fact, seven of our students have got selected in Amazon also. And thousands of our students every year get uh, selected in companies like Infosys, Wipro, TCS, Cognigent, Capgemini. And 
it has been seen that uh, the selection rate at graphic era university is always higher than uh, any other institute of the region rightly said about us we transform dreams into reality join us and we'll transform your dreams into reality wish you all the best thank you Thank you so for sharing your experience and expertise. Looking at the increasing viewership, I can gauge how eager our audience is to interact with you during our live session. And I promise each one of you that this live session will meet all your expectations. With this, I would now request Dr. Gangotkar to throw some light on the discipline of computer science and the facilities that Graphic Era has to offer. After which, we will move to our very awaited live Q&A session. Hello students, let me give you now a bit about the field of computer science engineering, what people do and what are the kind of an opportunities you know, that the computer science graduate has. Over the years, the computing technology has revolutionized our world. It has revolutionized our daily lives and has provided us amazing tools and resources um, and also putting useful information at our fingertips. Let me make it a little simple, you know. Let us consider the banks. Traditionally, when we spoke about banks, we used to think about a geographical location where we had to go physically, you know, perform the transaction and then come out. But today, when we talk about banks, you know, we know that, you know, we, we can be at our home, the way we are now, and perform all the banking transactions that probably uh, we wish to perform. But what, what goes behind that is, you know, there are various servers which are distributed across the geographical locations. Uh, they are required, different accounts are required to be managed. Uh, when we transfer the account, amount from one account to another account, how, you know, that the loss of the data uh, should not happen, that has to be taken care of. Uh, then, how are we able to perform it securely? You know, the security is also a very important aspect. So these all things, you know, go behind this particular thing and where, and this is where, you know, the computer science engineers come uh, and play their role, e-commerce applications where the products are you know, delivered at your doorsteps from across the globe. You name the product and that is available to you at your mouse click. This required development of you know, the um, user-friendly kind of and web portal, web-based portals. That is one aspect of it. Second aspect of it is customizing the news, providing the required information in appropriate format to the customers, um, helping them you know, in transacting you know, the business and also making the payment securely. What happens is you, you know the large organizations like Amazon, Flipkart, these all carry a lot of data analysis. You know, data analysis in the form of uh, who are the people who are buying a particular product, in which geographical location, which product is being sold, right, and uh, which products are not being sold, and so on. So the other example would be of the telemedicine in the field of health. You know, uh, remotely the doctors are able to perform the operations. Uh, remotely doctors are able to identify the kind of a disease uh, given a particular you know uh, x-ray a computer is able to identify whether uh, you know whether the person is suffering from a particular disease or not suffering recommend remotely also automatically the medicines using artificial intelligence then the other, other example would be of uh, social networking websites you know probably you'll be using facebook twitter you know these kind of a website for social networking. Now, the important point here is uh, understand that a lot of data is generated, hundreds and you know thousands of people are using these social networking websites. They are uploading their photographs, videos, tweets, data, and so on and so forth. Now, imagine you know how much is the volume of the data that is generated every day. Where are you going to store this data? So the question is how efficiently we are able to store what is called as uh, big data. So we are talking about a kind of an area which is called as a big data storage, analysis, data mining, and so on and so forth. Driverless cars, robots as your helpers. These all make use of you know kind of sensors and what we call it as IoT and so on and so forth. So why did I tell you all these things? So, what do the computer science engineer do? All right, they play a vital role 
they are the people, they are the pillars in designing, developing, analyzing the solutions and making the life of people easier and better. They carry out, they also carry out research, you know, to improve upon and propose new and innovative ideas. So what do the opportunities the computer science graduates have? Well, one of the things, uh, uh, one of the opportunities that they would have is obviously the placements with well-known MNCs, uh, with public sector organizations, defense services, administrative uh, services. You can also become entrepreneur. Let me elaborate on the infrastructure facilities that we have at the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. In order to carry out, you know, the hands-on training and research, we have established a private cloud. And students would be actually opening up the source code of that particular cloud, understanding what goes behind. You know, you might have heard about this Google Docs or you storing the data onto uh, the cloud. Uh, you might have heard about using the computing facilities from by using, you know, the cloud. But you really do not know how that happens. So what we have done is we have established a private cloud. So what Google and IBM, all these organizations do that you would be doing, you know, on this particular private cloud. You can also simulate, you know, uh, the framework uh, of uh, simulate the work and uh, carry out the seamless modeling experiment, uh, carrying out the uh, provisioning the infrastructure. Uh, running the application services by using something like cloud sync then we spoke about you know the social networking website you know earlier the huge data you generated which is called as a big data how are you going to store that data you know that is one of the challenges so in order to do a project and hands-on uh, on such kind of problems we have established a cluster which is called as a hadoop cluster which makes use of a hadoop map reduced kind of paradigm in order to store the voluminous data which is generated by these kind of applications. We are also able to visualize you know, the data using the tools like Tableau. We have provisioned labs where you would be working on Apache Spark, on Pig, on Hive, you know, these kind of things uh, in our labs. One of the distinct features that we have you know, is availability of a desktop supercomputer. Now you might have heard about the um, uh, five, five, uh, six cores, eight cores, that is quad cores and kind of computers. Uh, but the kind of uh, the machine that we have has 2080 cores, right? And the computational capacity of up to five teraflops. So it's an amazing computational capacity where you are really, uh, you know, doing the kind of uh, you know, computations uh, behind the scenes and the computation speed would be of the order of 100 to 200 times faster than the traditional computing. And then we have specialized labs for, you know, the DevOps in order to deliver, you know, DevOps is a kind of a technique which I mentioned to develop and deliver applications um, at a very high velocity. And you need to make use of the tools like Jenkins and Selenium, Puppet and Docker, you know. So the students would do projects, you know, by using these uh, kind of uh, applications, these kind of uh, tools. And then we have uh, the various uh, mobile-based kind of applications, um, development facilities, uh, where you are able to do a development by using Android Studio and so on and so forth. Uh, we also have, you know, tied up with an organization called as IP Movement, you know, um, and have established an innovation cell. Uh, where the expert from uh, the IP movement would mentor the students uh, regarding trademarking, copyrights, uh, design findings, you know, and IPRs, and also mentor them, help them, you know, to file the patents, uh, which will be also mentored by our IPR set, you know. So I'm sure that your search for a world class program in the field of computer science and engineering ends with us. We look forward to see you at her department. Tin
लो परिंदे उड़े हौसला ओढ़ के मजहबों की जुबान की सरहदें तोड़ के मजहबों की जुबान की सरहदें तोड़ के जैन ले Transforming dreams into reality. Graphic era. To our esteemed panel, of course, the man of the hour. Professor Kamal Ghanshala is with us, founder Hello. president for Graphic Era Group of Institutions. Welcome, sir. Also with us today, Dr. D. R. Gangotkar, senior professor for Computer Science Department, also dean International Affairs. Also joining us on a later stage will be Professor Dr. Sanjay Jasola, vice chancellor for Graphic Era Hill University. We have a lot of questions pouring in, so we'll straight away go to the questions. Coming on to the first question, all the way from Maharashtra, sir. I am to pursue artificial intelligence. It really excites me. But my father wants me to stick to core computer science. What do you suggest? Kamal, sir, if you would like to answer this, please. See, whether you take any specialization in computer science at the start or you take core computer science, see, basic subjects of computer science and engineering you'll have to study. Okay, because there are hardware subjects also. There will be sub uh, subjects related to system programming. There will be subjects related to uh, 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 assembly languages. So all these things you will have to do. A specialization you may choose at the start also if you are very much sure about it. Otherwise, in a later stage after second year, you may choose your specialization. So both way you may go. If you are sure, then you may take a specialization at the start only. Otherwise, you may choose after two years. Thank you, sir. Uh, let's move on to our second question coming from Madhya Pradesh. Sir, I always wanted to go to the US or UK for higher studies. Any options available at Graphic Era? Do we get summer internship offers? I think I'll switch this question to Gangotkar, sir, please. Yeah, it's a good question. And uh, uh, it's my, you know, uh, you would be happy to know that, you know, the uh, Graphic Era University has tied up with more than uh, uh, 30 universities abroad. And these are ranging from Brazil, US, UK, France, Germany, Spain, uh, you know, uh, Malaysia, and so on and so forth. So uh, there are ample opportunities for the students to pursue a uh, degree from uh, abroad, from the partner university. Uh, it's something like, you know, you have, you study two years of engineering in Graphic Era, and then your credits are transferred from Graphic Era to the foreign university. So um, you would have an opportunity, you know, to obtain a degree from UK, or US uh, from one of the renowned universities. In addition, you know, uh, we also offer internship uh, for short duration internship. It could be also a semester abroad program. You know, you can spend one semester uh, at our partner university or also you can carry out internship, um, academic as well as research internships um, at various partner universities. So yes, the answer is yes. Uh, thank you, sir. Moving on to our third question coming in locally from Dehradun. Uh, sir, they want to get, uh, please highlight the scholarship <coughs> programs, uh, sir, if you would like to answer, sir. See, our, uh, as far as our fee structure is concerned, it's a flexible merit-based fee structure. So it may happen that you are paying only 25% of the tuition fees 
or somebody else who is not having that much percentage in class 12th he is paying 100% of the tuition fees so it depends on your merit in btech we are offering scholarships up to worth 6.5 lakh rupees so based on your performance in class 12th it will be decided what will be your fee structure thank you sir i think that will answer the query uh, moving on to the next question Sir, my father is a businessman and due to the ongoing circumstances, we are expecting a financial crunch. What support can we get from the university? A very apt question for the times. Kamal sir, we would like to throw some light on that. See, uh, right now, as far as fee structure is concerned, I have already told you that we have a flexible merit-based fee structure. And then, see, once a student joins us and then <coughs> if afterwards, if there is some family problem or something else, then we have a lot of schemes. We see that he completes his course, but at the start right now, uh, you'll have to go through our fee structure. And if you are say percentage is good, then you will have a very reasonable fee structure with graphic error. Uh, so also we've heard about the EMI options which have just come up. Yeah, 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 that I must tell you, see, this year onwards only because uh, if you see the circumstances nowadays see worldwide so this is very useful and this is a very good thing what we have done we have come up with a tie up with some company so where you are paying your fees on monthly basis so your entire year's fees may be broken into month monthly installments and then on monthly basis you may pay your fees so that is again a very good option, which we are starting from this year onwards, only seeing the present crisis. Thank you, sir. That sounds very, very fruitful. I think a lot of people can benefit from that. Uh, moving on to our next question, coming from New Delhi. Uh, please highlight some facilities available at the Computer Science Department of Graphic Era. If Gangotka, sir, would you like to throw some light on that? Yeah. Uh, in fact, you know, I have just you know mentioned these things you know in my the earlier presentation. So, but let me give some highlights about you know the facilities. Um, we have excellent facilities, you know, which probably uh, uh, can be found only at the very top-notch institutions across India and maybe I could say, you know, at the, across the globe as well. So we have established, you know, a private cloud where the students are able to carry out the research. I mean, they are actually able to understand what the uh, top-notch organizations like Google and Yahoo and IBM are actually doing behind the scenes. You know, because usually you might have used something like Google Drive, you know, but you really do not know how it functions, how it provision. So you as a student, when you join uh, our uh, university, uh, our department facilitates that, you know, you can actually code, change the kind of end modules, that is one thing. Then we have something called as, a, you know, a desktop supercomputer. Nowadays, the computations are required to be done so quick, you know, uh, that let us say, for example, a big data, uh, analytics. Now, there's a huge voluminous of data and that require that data is required to be churned out within a shortest possible duration of time. Therefore, the computers or the infrastructure is required to be uh, functioning at a very uh, higher pace. So, we have, you know, a machine uh, which you would be amazed to, you know, know that it has 2080 cores, right? So, optimal utilizing, utilizing these cores, you know, that is what we teach and our students have performed, you know, paralyzed various algorithms and have achieved, you know, enormous uh, kind of and things. In addition, we have also tied up with various, you know, um, industries and uh, we have set up uh, various, you know, the uh, centers of excellence, you know, that probably, you know, you would also get this information on our website. Thank you very much, sir. Moving on to our next question, uh, coming all the way from Jaipur this time. Sir, are there special facilities for the students who want to appear for GATE? Uh, Kamal, sir, if you can throw some light on that question. See, as far as gate is concerned, first of all, uh, from uh, semester number five onwards, we start, uh, say, teaching the basics of subjects so that afterwards, whenever they prepare for gate, so there are, say, less problems for them. And then we have a group of teachers and they are consistently giving very good result right. in gate because, see, we are giving special coaching for gate this year only five of our students are having above 99 percentile right, so. and 31 of our students are having above 90 percentile in gate right, so. and uh, last year also a uh, similar type of performance was there and a lot of our students are joining iits triple iits and nits for doing their masters and uh, why only about gate see we are preparing students for uh, as foreign universities also we are giving them special 
type of guidance for foreign universities also and a good number of students from graphic era are joining foreign universities also and very top ranked foreign universities for doing their masters and for doing their research also. Thank you, sir. Uh, moving on to our next question. Uh, sir, what is better, cloud computing or data science? I think uh, Gangotka sir would like to answer that. <clears throat> okay, so uh, let me give you know kind of an you know idea about uh, what is meant by cloud computing and what is meant by data science. Then it will be you know uh, more clear. Uh, uh, cloud computing primarily you know uh, is used where the computations are are being carried out somewhere in the cloud. Now, what do you mean by cloud is you really do not know where the infrastructure is and you do not have that infrastructure at uh, uh, your end. So, you are uh, not required to worry about upgrade, upgradation, maintenance and doing the things. Where a data science is a concept where you are actually performing certain transactions, you are extracting information from the huge amount of data. So, uh, I, I can, you know, explain something like this that, you know, you have a voluminous data. The question is where are you going to store this data? That is one thing. So, probably I would require infrastructure that I would be uh, utilizing the cloud uh, facility uh, in order to store that data. Subsequently, when I want to run uh, and extract the patterns, uh, probably that would help my organization to work well. You know, um, I would be utilizing the concepts of data science. So, data science is primarily analyzed, and you know, it's like um, analysis of the data by using mathematical modeling, combinations of statistics and algorithms in order to understand or extract a knowledge. You know, whereas cloud computing, computing specifically, talks about the provisioning the infrastructure which is required for churning out this data. So, thank you, sir. I think that will uh, solve the query. Coming on to the next question. Uh, sir, how did the concept of graphic at a Hill University come into existence and why? Kamal sir, I think you will be the best person to answer <laughs> that. Yeah. See, you know, graphic era deemed university was formed in 2008 and uh, a deemed university is also formed uh, by central government uh, uh, after thorough inspection by UGC. And uh, there are limited number of seats and uh, then you see it has a character of a national or you may say international university because right, there are not much specific type of reservation for that state. But we were having a demand from the state that there are more number of students who want to join us from Uttarakhand state right, sir. because here options are very less. So that's why it was decided that let us have one more university where 50% of seats will be for uh, students of Uttarakhand reserved, yes, sir. Uh, reserved and uh, they will be given because they come from hilly areas and most of them belong to uh, say army background also. Right, sir. So it was decided that uh, their fee structure should also be around 25% less than others. So with this concept Graphic Era Hill University was uh, formed uh, by state government, by an act of uh, state government and we started two campuses in Grafikara Hill University. One is in Diradun and another campus was started in Bhimtal, which is a, I told you that lake city in Kumau. Right sir, uh, that sounds like an amazing initiative.